everyone and welcome back to the Children's Museum of Houston's Educator Moments. I'm Allie, the life science educator at the museum, and today we're going to be doing an experiment. For this experiment, you will need some dish soap, some cooking oil, a little bit of water if you want to dye it in a fun color, you can, and a Ziploc bag. While you go get those supplies, I wanted to take a moment to recognize our sponsor today. It's Texas Children's Hospital. They actually sponsor our Power Science Lab exhibit in the museum where we get to do experiments with chemistry and biology, which is what we get to do today. So, today we're actually going to be talking about three different liquids, water, oil, and soap. So, water is made up of a molecule H2O that looks like this. Now, H2O is a polar molecule, meaning that it has a positive pole and a negative pole, similar to magnets, which is why water molecules have cohesion and hold tightly together. Now, our vegetable oil is a much bigger molecule than our water. It has a really large head and some fatty acid tails that are actually hydrophobic meaning water fearing, and they repel water away from them. These, this molecule is nonpolar, meaning that it doesn't have any negative or positive poles. So because of its size and properties, oil is less dense than water, and therefore it doesn't mix and it will float on top of it. So let's go ahead and see that by taking our Ziploc bag, opening it up, we're going to add just a little bit of water to our Ziploc bag. Awesome. And then we're going to add a little bit of oil, probably just about a spoonful. You can measure it if you like. I'm just going to estimate with my eyes. Add just enough. Awesome. Ooh, there we go. So I'm going to seal that bag up. And what you can see is that the oil actually floats on top. You can see the, the clear distinction between the oil and the water. And you can try to mix it up if you want, but that oil just floats right on top. So there's one other molecule we haven't actually talked about, and that's our soap. So soap, like our oil molecule, is very big compared to our water molecule. And it has a long hydrophobic tail, so that it doesn't mix well with water. But unlike our oil, it has a salt head that's actually ionic, so it has a charge. Just like our water molecule is polar, this is polar as well. And so what's going to happen is, we're, let's see what happens when we add our soap to our bag. I'm going to go ahead and add a few drops of soap. Just a few will do. Awesome. I'm going to close this bag, make sure I kind of get the air out, and then I'm going to start to mix it together. And what the soap can do is form a micelle with the oil, surrounding a few oil molecules with the long chain mixed in with the oil and the salt head facing the water. And it looks kind of like this. So if you notice, we mixed it all together and this is actually it all mixed back together. The oil is mixed in with the water and the soap, forming what's called an emulsion. See? So soap acts like the middleman that helps bring the oil and water, who don't normally mix, together. I hope you had fun doing this experiment with me. Post a picture of your emulsion bag in the comments below. I can't wait to see them. Thanks. Bye.